wonderful people. You wonder why I'm showing you this right now. Today's video I wanted to start with the presentation of this site and after I will show you the painting process of the octopus. This site actually went online just a few days ago and it was tested by my partner and I and also some other um, friends and it's available to every one of you. The site is called sunatcolors.com. What you can see there are swatches of basically all the paints and colors that I have and own, uh, which were or are actually now being tested for light fasteners. Um, on the site you can see the swatches and you can search for different color families, pigments, um, color names if you know them, but there are also filters, like you can search for a single pigment or not, for different brands, if you want to search like for Daniel Smith or Schminke or Holbein, um, and also for like the medium. I have color pencils that I swatched, watercolors, gouache and also inks. There are fountain pen inks and also drawing inks that I used and swatched. This is basically most of my collection that I have swatched and tested. Some of the swatches you will see later that are shown um, that they are being tested right now. I have posted this on Instagram several times. Um, you probably have seen the photos of the swatching sheets hung up in my windows, so there's no sunlight in my partner, uh, apartment right now. Also, um, you have seen the, swatch, the swatching sheets on my channel before because it's what I use to try out new paints and basically this is what I then hung up in my window. Here, you can also click on the swatches that you can see there and I'm showing you some examples. You see the pigment numbers, the name of the color, the company and what line it is, like the White Knights or other lines um, if the company has like student grade and artist grade paints. Also you can see the swatches. The left one is the original one and the one on the right side, marked by the sun icon, is the one that has been tested already. As you can see, the results vary a lot. Some paints stay the same, some colors um, darken, some just bleach out to nothing. Um, and I think that it's for an artist it's important to know how your paints are how you mediums react to UV light, especially when you sell um, originals. A little perk <laughs> is you can also um, search for metallics, which will include all the shimmery paints and colors that I have. Um, this is what I tagged um, the gold, the silvers, and the fine tags that I have with so you can find all the shimmery goodness if you're not searching for it, for it like specifically or want to compare the shimmery paints of different brands. So let's talk about this um, site a little because I'm very excited it was a big project of us. Um, we started swatching and testing all of my paints last year and I had two updates on my channel and blog um, about the results that I had last year. So this year I started testing the paints that I got over the winter months and also earlier this year. So I can compare them, compare how the pigments behave, whether the binder that the companies use has any effects on the colors. Um, and it's mostly me being curious about the medium that I work so much with. And I think it's a knowledge that is pretty useful for everyone who wants to sell it or works with this medium as well. So I wanted to make it this knowledge accessible and 
presented in a nice way. So basically this side is the result of this effort that my partner and I had. I was basically testing this, my paints, and he um, coated the whole side. So what I can tell you about the side itself, we don't, well, it's free to use, we don't collect any data, that's why there's no funny pop-up that informs you about um, data being, being collected. We have no statistics, like we don't know um, who uses the site and how many of you use the site and what you use it for. Well, we can guess what you use it for to look up colors, supposedly. Um, of course, you can inform yourself um, about different colors and pigments in different brands when you use the site or before you're purchasing it. Mark had a video last week, I think, about mistakes when buying art and this site may help plan ahead what would look good in your palette and what you might want and which brand you maybe prefer to another because not all pigments look the same, <laughs> you know? My partner coded the site and made the design and made everything nice and pretty and usable. While I had a lot of work swatching um, the paints, look up all the data and collect all the data. Um, the swatches were made on, on two different papers and it's because there were two phases of swatching. Last year I tested on cellulose paper only and this year I'm swatching on cotton paper, so I have the same paper bases that I work with. And it's all mentioned in the FAQs that you can see on the side too. Basically, um, well, I'm swatching with better paper right now. But I will re-swatch and retest all the paints from last year, but um, a little bit later, so it all looks the same and nice. Of course, it's not a 100% scientific process of swatching, but I think if there are issues with the color regarding the light fastness, you will definitely see them in the swatches and in the tests, as you have seen in the preview. Um, and it also will tell you whether the light fastness ratings of the companies is accurate or not because some were rated with good light fastness and bleached to nothing within weeks and this is something we as artists have to be careful about when we work with these mediums. Um, what I can tell about the octopus that I'm um, painting right now is basically that I wanted to have a happy painting after all of this work and this was my happy painting. I was inspired a lot by um, Miao Miao Kapao, which I will link down below, as well as Mark who made the video about the mistakes when buying art supplies. So. Here you can see a little of the side. If you go to the menu on the top right corner, you can see FAQs, but also a area where you can contribute to this project. It's an ongoing project, the site is free, but of, co of course, as you may know, there are server, server costs and the paints costs a little bit too. I want this collection to grow and be a resource for 
or artists you can and want to contribute, don't feel pressured. There are links where you can do that, whether through Ko-fi or affiliate links, and I will also link them down below in the description box. Thank you for being here, and sorry about me being a, bit, a little bit rambly, but I'm very excited to present this to you. It was a long project that we had, and I hope you like it. So, have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!